Hello everybody, Rob Brender from Tradition Field in Port St. Lucie, Florida. It's day four of Pitchers and Catchers. Over the first couple of days when we got here, we focused quite a bit on what the pitchers do during their typical work day. Let's flip the script today. Let's look at those catchers, see what their work day is like exclusively here on SMY.TV. The day for the catchers begins on field number two. They do their regular stretching and then warming up by throwing back and forth. When that's completed, they go immediately into drills. Under the watchful eye of Bob Guerin, they throw the ball down to second base, throw the ball down to third base, work on some of their receiving, some of their shifting behind home plate. We caught this very interesting moment down by second base. As you see Bob Guerin talking to Kevin Plawecki, he was instructing him as he was receiving balls at second to begin more in the shortstop position so that the catchers wouldn't see him. And it acts more like a natural throw for the catcher with nobody there at the bag. As we saw throughout the morning here at Tradition Field, Bob Guerin was right on top of the catchers to make sure that they were doing things the right way. And in this case, it's Taylor Teagarden's turn. All right, finally time where they can take off the pads and pull out the lumber. Certainly these guys take pride in their offense as well. This was their opportunity to take batting practice. For the front office executives, most of their day is spent walking around the complex watching players. In this case, J.P. Ricciardi wanted to have some fun of his own, so he had a catch with Bob Guerin. Once the morning session was completed on field number two, the catchers gathered up their stuff and they made their way out to the 10 pack, which is located all the way on the opposite side of the facility so that they can catch various pitchers throwing their bullpen sessions. Here you see Rafael Montero throwing to Juan Centeno. For the catchers, this might actually be the most important part of their day because remember, their relationship with the pitchers certainly will carry over to the regular season. And this is where they develop those relationships. They learn what the pitchers have in their repertoire and they try to help the pitchers advance as they go through their day. From the 10 pack to the six pack, the catchers wrap up their day working again with Bob Guerin, this time on shifting behind home plate and ultimately blocking balls in the dirt. As you can see, it was a full day for the catchers, and it's like that every single day here at Port St. Lucie, especially during Pitchers and Catchers Week. Right now, the catchers are gathered together. They're having their post wrap up after the day was full of just about everything you could ever imagine that a catcher would do, from taking batting practice to stretching and throwing and also catching bullpens in the outer fields. Hope you enjoyed it right here on SMY.TV. For now, I'm Rob Brender.